12th Indo-Japan Annual Summit. Now we can see the visuals uh, of the Japanese Prime Minister uh, Scar arriving and Prime Minister Modi uh, standing there to receive, personally receive the Japanese uh, Prime Minister and the First Lady of Japan. We can see uh, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe alight from the vehicle as well as uh, Akia Abe uh, uh, arriving at um, the mosque. Uh, they're wearing the same Indian attire, the Khadi attire that they were wearing at the roadshow. This was not the attire that they wore from Japan. In fact, when they alighted from the aircraft, uh, uh, they were in business suits and later uh, uh, they changed at the airport itself and participated in the roadshow. The three dignitaries seated at the forecourt of Siddhi Sayyid Nijali. We can see, uh, uh, okay, uh, they've taken their shoes off and they're walking inside the mosque, the Siddhi Sayyid Mosque. This mosque of Siddhi Sayyid was built in 1572 AD uh, by uh, Abyssin, the Prime Minister explaining the intricate architecture and uh, uh, both his guests in attendance. As I was saying, this mosque was built in 1572 AD by an Abyssin uh, known as Siddhi Sayyid. Uh, he came from uh, Habsha in Ethiopia via Yemen to Gujarat and he later served uh, the Sultan uh, Nasiruddin uh, Muhammad III. This lattice work is the speciality of uh, this mosque. The three dignitaries fo posing for a photograph. This mosque is renowned worldwide for its delicately carved uh, and, art uh, uh, card and artistic stone uh, screens or the jalis that I was talking about that you can see right above on the top. It uh, serves, of course, for ventilation, but add to the beauty is a tree of life which uh, has come uh, on, on these carvings, which has come to signify uh, Ahmedabad. Well, this mosque was used as a government office uh, during the British uh, rule. In 1880, paper cutouts of our carved screens were taken uh, or, and made of these mosques to, um, uh, out, they were made in wooden models and were made for muse museums in London and New York. Uh, today, these jalis depict the tree of life and have become a distinguished symbol of the city. In fact, this uh, mosque right adjacent to the mosque is the grave of Siddhi Sayyid. Uh, it's uh, situated within uh, the compound of uh, the mosque. So about a 450 year old building, which is a heritage building. And uh, Prime Minister Abe, Prime Minister Modi, and uh, the First Lady of Japan, Akea Abe, walking uh, through the mosque. It's an actual mosque, it's a, it's a protected monument, it's a heritage monument, but uh, it is also where namaz takes place. The two prime ministers waving at the local residents. This is part of uh, old Ahmedabad, uh, the old, uh, the walled city of Ahmedabad, which is really a nine square kilometer area. Uh, walled, uh, uh, as you know, Ahmedabad is a 600 year old city with a lot of protected monuments with uh, you know 22,000 more than 22,000 uh, properties including houses where people still live today which have been declared heritage buildings there are 36 uh, protected monuments in uh, Ahmedabad so right now we can see uh, the prime minister inside uh, the mosque uh, they, uh, when you enter the mosque the shoes are taken off as a mark of respect the dignitaries wearing the shoes uh, back the two prime ministers talking amongst themselves prime minister modi 
would be talking about the history and the architecture of this mosque. Now we can see the Prime Minister and his guests leave the mosque. They moved out of the Siddhi Sayyid Nijali Mosque. They're crossing the street uh, to go down to the house of MG, which is again a heritage property. There are people gathered along the road where the road, this road has been blocked, but the, the excitement and the euphoria and people is so much, they're shouting uh, and the two prime ministers waving at them and walking just across the road to the house of MG where the Agashiye uh, restaurant is there. Agash uh, means terrace in Gujarati. Uh, it's a heritage property uh, that was uh, built about 120 years ago by a wealthy businessman uh, of the area who was known as Nagar State popularly in Ahmedabad. Uh, he was a philanthropist as well and this used to be his house. His descendants have now converted it into a heritage uh, hotel come restaurant. There are a few rooms there and uh, the Prime Minister uh, taking his